Garden of Gethsemane. That was the beginning of his passion, his suffering. And uh, you, you never see the Lord like that, where, you know, the Bible says in Hebrews, with strong crying and tears, he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. And uh, the Bible says he began to sweat drops of blood, a condition called, in medical terms, hematidosis, which is when you're, when you're under great emotional stress or physical duress, extreme, extreme physical duress, you, your capillaries burst mm. and mingles with your, you know, your, your sweat. And uh, the blood comes out as sweats of blood. In the Garden of Gethsemane, he bore our stress, okay? And uh, he sweat drops of blood because God says, by the sweat of your face, you will eat bread. Now that curse, he bore that curse. Because when his blood, and his blood has redeeming quality, so when his blood mingled with sweat, our labor, our mental effort and uh, worries and cares to accomplish something that is otherwise given by God freely. When the blood mingled with sweat, He redeemed from the curse of human sweat, toil, worries, cares. And that's why later on He wore the crown of thorns on His head so that you and I can wear that peace that passes understanding. That's what we have available for us. The moment when Jesus said, no, not my will, but thine be done. Yes. This was the beginning of the end mm -hmm. for him, for us. So Calvary is amazing, all this, but there was really a decision made in, the, in this garden yeah. to really go and, uh, and start the process of redeeming mankind forever. You know, everything hinges on that, not my will. Imagine if you say, Father, I've had enough. Bring me home. We're all done. But just thinking about him saying, not my will. Nevertheless, that nevertheless means everything. Everything hinges on that. When I was listening one time about the olive tree and over in, uh, uh, down here, the slope over here, and he was talking about the tree pressings of the olive, of, of the, cr the tree crushings of the olive to produce oil different qualities of oil. And he says the first pressing at that time was for the temple menorah, for the candelabra, to light the candelabra in the temple. It's for light. Then he says the second pressing, the crushing, is for ointment and medicinal purposes. Okay, for medicine. Now keep that in mind. So I'm listening to all these. Isn't it? And the third pressing is for cleansing, like soap today, he says, it's for cleansing. And man, the Holy Spirit just showed me that. That's what the sequence, that's what happened to our Lord wow. in Gat Shemani, which is Gat Sheman. Sheman is oil and Gat is the, the press. Literally, he was pressed. And the first oil is for light in the temple. In the place of his darkness, he stepped into our darkness so that the light of the world was crushed here. So that you and I can always be in the light. Even the world gets darker and darker, we get brighter and brighter. And the second pressing, he was pressed again, crushed again, where? When he was scourged. He was, his body was crushed, he was scourged. Literally the word, he was bruised for our iniquities. You know, what's a bruise for us today? It's like a, a blue, you know, blue-black mark. But in the Hebrew, the word bruise is crush, like an olive press. By his crushing, right? He was crushed for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. The second pressing is for medicine. Wow. So you have the next sequence, right? He was crushed for our healing. It's provided for today. We don't have to earn healing. We don't have to qualify for it. We don't have to uh, be good to get it. It's provided for. It's the children's bread. And the third one is for so remember that cleansing at the cross he was crushed totally amen to cleanse us from all our sins now when you think about it right that the fact that jesus took your diseases upon himself that's the only place in the word of god that says surely he has borne our diseases and carried our pains the word surely was there in the first place god puts surely because he knew that of all the areas that people would doubt, it would be the area of healing. There's a lot of people facing things 
that from this place, he made the decision to carry on. Speak, carry on, speak, you can make it over the audience from this location. Yeah. It'd be beautiful. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You can make it. This trial you're going through, mm. and you are going through. Yeah, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? Notice you're not camping there, you're not staying there. You're going through. But notice who is there with you. You are with me. All the while he used the the, the, the second, second person, or rather the third person. He restores my soul. He leads me. But when he goes through the when you are going through the valley of the shadow of death, you need to talk to him directly. Mm. When I go through the valley, you are with me. Mm. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. My friend, I don't believe it's by chance that you are watching this. I believe this word has come to you all the way from Gatsumani because you need to know that Christ has redeemed you from all that worries and cares and that mental oppression. And your future is bright, as bright as His grace is. I'm telling you right now, in the name of Jesus, you, I see great things in store for you. Your good days are still ahead. Amen. Your, your worst days, listen, is not ahead of you. They've just passed. <laughs> You're coming through and restoration. You've lost something, restoration is on its way. Thank it's you. on its way to you. And when God restores, it's never the same kind of thing. God restores greater in quality and quantity. It's all paid for by the blood of Jesus, hmm. the one who sweat blood in this garden. In Jesus' name, receive that strength. In Jesus' wonderful name.